All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to Gratitude and Alchemy. And uh, today, um, I am pumped about rain. I'm not pumped about it, but I'm being, uh, I'm being grateful for it. Uh, you know, we've, we've had an enormous amount of rainfall, um, very consistent rainfall um, this winter. And um, as we're kind of approaching spring, which usually here in Northern California during this spring, we're gonna get even more rain. Um, I am extremely tired of it. It's uh, my dog can't play outside. He's always getting thrashed and wet. My daughter can't play baseball because the fields are soaked. Um, it's uh, it's just a lot, and um, it, it feels like it's never ending. Um, but at the same time, I am living in a place of gratitude. I am being very grateful for it because hands down, we've absolutely needed all of this rain. We we absolutely needed as much snow as we're getting in the mountains, even though there's nowhere else to put it. They can't even plow the roads because the the snow banks are you know 30 feet high. Um, we, uh, we, we've needed it so much and, and you know, I'm grateful that the mountains are, are packed with snow and there's gonna be amazing runoff uh, you know, this year and we're gonna have, you know, lakes will be full, rivers will be full. Um, it's really, really important obviously for the environment and so I'm holding a lot of gratitude for that. Um, so I'm trying to make my, uh, I guess my desire for the rain to stop and I'm trying to shift that to a place of gratitude. So I'm sure you can relate at some point there's been something you've wanted to stop, to change, whether it be, you know, environmental or like in your life. Um, but you have to actually just step back and go, look, like, first of all, I can't control it. That's, that's the first thing. Get honest with the fact that there is nothing we can do to control it. But second of all, look at what it really is. I mean, this is, this is a blessing to have as much rainfall as we've had. There's trillions and trillions of, of gallons of water that have, uh, that have fallen, you know, via rain here. It's been needed, drastically needed. Um, and so, you know, I mean, it's, it's funny cause like the ground can't even soak up any more water. Um, so you're just, you end up with just, you know, thrashed, you know, thrashed baseball fields and everything else. The water is just sitting, there's nowhere for it to go. Um, but at the same token, we absolutely need it. So I'm very, very grateful that mother nature has provided, uh, an incredible winter again. Um, it's, I feel like, I think this is the second year in a row, we've had a really, really good winter. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that we, that we will be uh, in a great place moving into spring and summer and so forth. So um, it's super important. I'm shifting towards gratitude. I wanna be grateful for it. And um, the alchemy side of it, what it's gonna do is it's gonna produce amazing, you know, uh, well, first of all, there's amazing skiing in the mountains right now. Uh, secondly, it, you know, when the summer rolls around, I mean, these lakes are gonna be full, um, rivers are gonna be full, like it's gonna create amazing recreation. Um, there is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be an incredible summer. And, um, you know, you could look at like plant life and all this other stuff, and I'm not gonna get like overly environmental, but, um, you know, things are gonna really do well this year um, you're growing hopefully because it's so wet, uh, less fires and things like that. So um, I'm holding gratitude. And uh, so remember every day, be fucking grateful.